Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can do implicit differentiation. We have this relation between x and y. 3x to the 2 plus 4y to the 2 equals y to the 3 plus x to the 5 plus 4. As you can see here, x and y are related to each other by this relation. When x and y are mixed together in a relation, we have implicit relation between x and y and so for finding dy over dx or derivative of the function y we use implicit differentiation method for finding derivative the first step in implicit differentiation is to take derivative of both side of this relation with respect to x derivative of 3x to the 2 is 6x but what is derivative of 4y to the 2 derivative of 4y to the 2 from the power rule bring the power 2 to the front 2 times 4 is 8 subtract the power y1 so y to the 1 but you have to multiply this by y prime whenever you have implicit relation and you want to find y prime when you take derivative of a term involving y take derivative and multiply derivative by y prime but y here we have to multiply the 8y by y prime y for the terms involving y we have to multiply the derivative by y prime in general let me tell you the reason it's better to not memorize these important things it's better to know the reason when we have 4y to the 2 y is a function of x attention this relation implicitly defines y as a function of x so y is actually f of x but it is defined implicitly by this relation so when we want to find the derivative of 4y to the 2 this y is basically f of x so the y is f of x and so 4y to the 2 is 4f of x to the 2 if we want to find derivative of this expression what is derivative of this we bring the power 2 to the fr in front 4 times 2 is 8 and we make the power 1 but from the chain rule we have to multiply by derivative of inside inside we have f of x and derivative of f of x is f prime of x and now if you compare this with this you can see that it's the same 8 times f of x but attention f of x is y so 8 times y times y prime f prime of x is y prime so exactly this expression that's the reason when you take derivative of a term involving y when you take derivative of y multiplied by y prime always in implicit differentiation now let's take derivative of the other side of the equation with respect to x derivative of y to the 3 again from the power rule is 3y to the 2 but don't forget to multiply by y prime because we take derivative of a term involving y derivative of x to the 5 is 5x to the 4 and derivative of constant 4 is 0 because here in this question we want to find y prime we move all the terms involving y prime to one side and the terms without y prime to the other side this term and this term have y prime so we move this to the left so basically we have 
8 y y prime minus 3 y to the 2 y prime and we have to move this to the other side because we want to solve this for y prime we want to find y prime so move the unknown to one side other terms to the other side so we have 5x to the 4 minus 6x after doing this now we can factor y prime in the left attention both of these two terms have y prime we can factor y prime then we have 8y minus 3y to the 2 equals 5x to the 4 minus 6x now if we divide both sides of this relation by this we get this 5x to the 4 minus 6x over 8y minus 3y to the 2 so y prime when we have this relation between x and y is this attention instead of y prime if you want you can write dy over dx the reason that we usually we write y prime instead of dy over dx is that this is a shorter notation for derivative of the function y with respect to x but definitely this notation is better to use when we want to write y prime so let me do it at least here at the last step let me put dy over dx here it's better notation and i recommend you to use dy over dx because in this notation you know that the y is a function and the x that is in denominator is the variable when we use this notation for showing the derivative of the function y we don't know only from this notation what is the variable but in this notation everything is clear y is the function x is the variable now let's do another question 2x to the 2 plus 3y to the 2 plus 5xy equals 10 and we want to find dy over dx or actually y prime derivative of the function y with respect to x derivative of 2x to the 2 is 4x derivative of 3y to the 2 is 6y y prime for finding derivative of 5xy attention 5xy is actually 5x times by y here we have two function multiplied by each other two expression so we have to use the product rule for finding derivative of this derivative of 5x is 5 times by the second function plus write the first function which is 5x times by derivative of the second part derivative of y is 1 but don't forget when we take derivative of a term involving y we have to multiply by y prime so derivative of y is 1 times y prime or simply we can write y prime derivative of y is y prime so derivative of 5xy is 5y plus 5xy prime equals 0. Now we have to keep the terms with y prime in the left and move the other terms to the right. So we have 6y y prime plus 5xy prime equals minus 4x minus 5y. Now if we factor y prime we have 6y plus 5x equals negative 4x minus 5y and if we divide both sides by this y prime equals negative 4x minus 5y over 6y plus 5x so dy over dx is this now let me show you another example 
x e to the y equals x to the 3 plus y we have an implicit relation between x and y and we want to find dy over dx we differentiate both sides with respect to x for finding derivative of x times e to the y we use again the product rule because we have two terms derivative of x is 1 times by the second expression write x and take derivative of e to the y if you remember derivative of exponential function e to the x is e to the x so derivative of e to the y is e to the y but because this is a term involving y don't forget to multiply it by y prime so derivative of x e to the y is this expression derivative of the left is e to the y plus x e to the y y prime derivative of x to the 3 is 3 x to the 2 and derivative of y is y prime move the terms with y prime to the left and the terms without y prime to the right so in the left we have x e to the y y prime minus y prime equals 3x to the 2 minus e to the y if we factor y prime we have y prime times x e to the y minus 1 and in the right we have 3x to the 2 minus e to the y and finally y prime is 3x to the 2 minus e to the y all over x e to the y minus 1 now look at this question e to the xy equals x plus y plus 1 again we have an implicit relation between x and y and we want to find dy over dx for finding derivative of e to the xy again let me remind you when we have the e to the x its derivative is e to the x but here we have e to the power of an expression and the expression is not x it's xy considering this formula for e to the x what is derivative of e to the xy derivative of e to the xy is e to the xy times by derivative of the exponent for finding derivative of x times y we use the product rule because between x and y we have multiplication derivative of x is 1 so multiply all of this by 1 times by the second function y plus write x and multiply by derivative of y derivative of y is y prime so derivative of e to the x y is e to the x y times by y plus x y prime derivative of the right side derivative of x is one and derivative of y is y prime move the terms involving y prime to one side the term without y prime to the other side but here we have to do one extra step then we can rearrange the equation attention here we have this e to the xy here so we cannot simply move this to the other side first we have to multiply this in the bracket and then we can move that term to the other side if we multiply e to the xy in the bracket we have e to the xy times y which we can write it as y times e to the xy and if we multiply this by this we have x y prime e to the xy and in the other side we have 1 plus y prime now we can move the terms involving y prime to the left then we have x y prime e to the x y minus y prime equals 1 minus y e to the x y factor y prime in the left y prime times x e to the x y minus 1 equals 1 minus y e to the x y 
if we divide both sides by this we have y prime equals this over x e to the x y minus one so dy over dx was so the derivative of the function y with respect to x for this given equation here is this and again it's not bad idea to put dy over dx here instead of y prime now look at this question sine of xy equals sine of x plus sine of y we have an implicit relation and so we use different implicit differentiation method for differentiating this relation we take derivative of each side with respect to x derivative of sine is cosine so derivative of sine of xy is cosine xy don't forget to multiply by derivative of inside inside we have xy and derivative of xy from the product rule is 1 times y plus x times y prime so derivative of the inside is y plus xy prime derivative of the right side derivative of sine of x cosine x and derivative of sine y cosine y times y y prime now we have to multiply that cosine xy to the bracket then we have y cosine xy plus xy prime cosine xy equals cosine x plus cosine y y prime move the terms involving y prime to the left then we have xy prime cosine xy minus cosine y times y prime equals cosine x minus y cosine xy so we moved the terms involving y prime to the left and we moved this to the right and we got this now if we factor y prime in the left then we have y prime times x cosine xy minus cosine y equals cosine x minus y cosine xy if we divide both sides by the bracket y prime equals to cosine x minus y cosine xy all over x cosine xy minus cosine y and this is the derivative of this implicit relation many implicit relations have unusual curves before i finish this video let me show you the graph of this implicit relation between x and y here you can see the graph of the relation sine of xy equals sine of x plus sine of y and as you can see this curve is a very unusual curve and basically we need to use computers to graph these type of curves i hope you like this video and see you in the next videos